Hello, welcome to episode 25, the big 2-5 for our Minecraft tutorial and let's play. This is Ellipse and you are down under. This is a new building I have. It is my villager trading system and let's just kill these people who want to get into our villages and get this guy as well. And I just need to show you a few things that I have done. It's been hard to record lately, lots of different things happening, uh, but we are going to get past that. And I kind of am in the middle of making a bunch of stuff, but I don't want to progress too far without showing you things. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go away, I want to see if I can get this guy with the chain mail. Getting the chain mail, big full suit. I want a chest plate. Chest plate, please. Drop your chest plate. You don't need it. You're dying. Wow. And nothing. This is our farm, which we'll get to another time. Because right now, we've got to jig and jag and pass all these people. All right. So our village is unchanged. Not much has changed there. I do want to change one significant thing once we get up here and have a sleep. Because I want all you bad zombies and skeletons and creepers and spiders and endermen and everyone to just leave me alone why are people so unkind okay up and to the house and sleeps you can see my uh bricked up window uh boarded up window there okay burn everyone burn 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 okay there's a couple of things we want to do let's just get a little bit organized I'm not wearing my good armor. I think that sounds a bit loud, actually. Let's music and sounds. Let's just turn that down a bit. All right. We need ender chest. I'm going to get unbreaking and silk touch. Brilliant. And go through here. Up, 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 up. Okay. It's a couple. I have a little list of things I want to get through. First, I want to revive our villages. This village has been only inhabited by these uh, these zomb these turned villages. There's one there, one there, and I believe one more somewhere. Let's have a look. We had a village uh, zombie invasion, which broke all into all of our houses and killed everyone, but. Let's see if we can protect them from that happening again. Okay. So there's definitely one here, and there was one um, over there, I think. All right, so what are we going to need? We're going to need a crafting table, gold, an apple, and potion of weakness. So, boop, boop. Okay, so let's get the apples. And that gives us three apples. I already had two of these. And just put them on a hot bar. And this is what we do. We go up to the zombie and we say, hello zombie. And we throw potion of weakness and then golden apple. And then he goes through the uh, withdrawal symptoms and hopefully he gets healed. All right. Uh, the zombie, where are you? Here you are. Make you weak. So the medicine works. And there you go. <gasps> I ate I ate the other one. I did not mean to eat the other one. Oh. Well, that's an expensive snack. Was there anyone in here? No. Now, these guys should heal up, but I'm going to lock them in. We want them to be better, and we don't want them to get sick again. So we are going to lock them in and come in and visit them again real soon oops uh, we'll wait for that okay down 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 check one off my list of things I wanted to get done now in we go in 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 down oi, oi, oi. Step, step 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 oh let's take this rail car wow super loud Okay, more zombies and 
undead baddies in here. Let's kill them all. Death to all. And add those in there. Um, let's see what's under here. Yep, that's doing pretty well. All right, now I want to first make some shears. Ching! Put those shears in here. Uh, unbreaking. Yep. And then silk touch. Ooh. And that used up the anvil. So we'll have to make another one soon. All right, so basically what that means is we can attack these and keep them as a cobweb without them turning into string. Aha! Excellent, we can move string around. So there's that. Um, what was the other thing I needed to make? Well, let's just fix up our, um, our anvil while we're reflecting. So we need one, two, oh, that's right, I remember, I remember now, three, cross up, and zing, zang, boom. Excellent. Oh, they're almost gone. Die. Notice my experience is getting 42 at the moment. I'm very excited about that. And I've also found a way to uh, not have the water run the whole time. I've got up these uh, dispensers with water buckets. Let me show you. Um, and they will trigger, or well, sorry, not, I will trigger them. And they send the water going through so it can flush it down. And the other one is over here. Huh. Mm, whoops. I obviously disconnected the redstone. Let me try that again. Oh, that's not going to work at all, is it? I should have undone that first thing. Okay. Jump. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Now those ones aren't working. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this again. One here. One there. That will cut off the circuit, I believe. No. Okay. Turned all of them off, inverted the signal. Oh, well, look, I'll figure this out later. You don't need to see the mess that this has become. All right. Down. Okay. So, I have reorganized this section a little bit. Oh, slime. That's a slime. Give me your juicy slime balls. Um, where might you be? Hello? Mm, through here. Where are you? Mm, this way. This way. It's getting fainter. Fainter. I want it to be getting louder. Do I just need to go up here somewhere? Alright. Coming out of my left headphone. Where are you? Ah, two of you. One, two, 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 die, die with my looting sword. Four of you, four slime balls. Nice to 13. Okay. We'll drop back down. Where were we? That's right. I changed it from a pressure plate to a button so that it wouldn't just get triggered by someone else. And good. Click, click. All right, so we have, whoa, a very loud. I think that's blocks. Let's try it. No. All of you off. There we go. All right, nice little mine shaft track. Takes me underneath the acacia wood farm and the other um, just the grass and all the open plains up into the village of trading center. Oh, no, down, die, and lost forever. Okay, now since that loud thing's gone, we can put our volume back. All right, so this is the village of trading center. Downstairs is our uh, leather worker with his goods. He has a nice little display area which we'll fill up. Then upstairs we have our librarian with the 
very precious name tag, which I'm very excited about, and our butcher. And he has his little lunch vending stall thingy. Now, I've tried to make it so they can't move around too much. So to make sure he doesn't get through here, there is a fence under here. Fences counter count as one and a half tall, or at least high enough that it's not a gap that you can walk through. And then you cover it up with that. So it looks a little bit better. I'm going to put up maybe one or two more stalls up here. And now the thing about this uh, town center is that it is very attractive to zombies and they come from near and far to visit. Um, I've tried to make a little bit of a deterrent by making this uh, hedge area, but they just walk all the way around and come through and stand on my doorstep. And if they don't come on my doorstep, if they spawn over here and are attracted, then they come this way and they try and just, they just stand here looking at the villagers. So I made a little drop. They can fall down and just be trapped in here. Or if they are at the, um, the door, front door, I made this little welcome entrance for them and that just drops them down and I'll show you what I mean. We'll put something there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's put one of these. Break, break, break. Yep, got you. Um, put that there. And down we go. Down, 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 down. And push button. Yep, and there it drops. Now that's going to be, you know, all hooked up with other things soon, but I just wanted to show you the general principle of it. Now I'm also going to make this a um, secret door. Um, to do that, I have gutted this area and I've put pistons underneath here and did. I let water come down here and it flushed them away. Okay. Well, let me just show you this one first. Okay, so over here, we just have a simple double piston pushing out to a single piston, which pushes up and holds that door, the block, which is the doorstep in place. And then when I press a button, it turns off this piston first and then through a delay, turns off this piston. So. Hey, this is why I need a door here. Oh, back to where I was. All right, so I push that off, and then that goes off, and then on, and this is already on, so it pushes it straight back up. And you can see day, daylight or night light through there. Okay, so that's what that is. But let me show you this one. I'm going to need some redstone. And I didn't bring any... Do, do, do. Um, I'll I'll come back with some redstone. <laughs> and I'm back. I have Peter repeater, and then I wanted some redstone. So basically, you just run a redstone line under here, and oh, I can't remember what I did. Yep, that connected. All right. Um, how do I get out of here? Huh. Uh, that and back. Okay, one there, and then I'm gonna run another line of redstone along here. Here, so I need my half slabs. Oh, that's right. I can just put them there. One and two. There we go. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, if I have thought of this correctly, I have put pistons in the ceiling. Um, block, 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 block. Okay, we have pistons here with repeaters. And we have pistons below here with repeaters. And the signal comes from a, a um, this thing. It is a redstone 
the thing. Anyway, if we have something, we should be able to put something out and it closes them, except it didn't do it at the top, which is a problem. So let's find out what the issue with that is together. Um, give me a block. Block, block. All right. Oh, we don't have redstone here. Hmm. There we go. So we have no evidence of a door. And then we put something in here. And it opens. Now I can put things here. One, two. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. And I'm going to need some slabs making my uh, best impersonation of a villager boom boom all right so we can come down and if nothing is in here it just is feels like a normal room but if something is in here we can go through into here and let's see these guys drop down. So I'm going to hook these up so I can press them one button and have them both come down. Hey. That's right. I need to have another block here and here so they can't get through. <laughs> and over here, is anyone at the back door? No, oh, pretty quiet. Try to make this look a bit like a, a coal grate, a coal room. You know, the coal gets dropped here, it gets dragged over here, stacked here, and then is used in this furnace. Just to give it a bit of a, a look there. Now, the last thing I'll show you in this episode, to catch you up on some of the bigger things I've done, is because um, our friend upstairs um, is a butcher and likes the meat, I have a chicken farm. Hello. Die, die, don't blow up things. Ooh, this is a spider that's got some kind of potion. But can't see me because its head's in the grass. No one's coming. I would like a potion spider. Oh, I'll get another time. Oh, I can't even pick up that. Let me see. Don't need, don't need that. Okay. So what I have here is a bit of a chicken coop. Hey, guys. And best way to look without them coming out is here death to spiders all right and chop and once again I have too many things you come down here and they're all living their lives and then when they lay an egg did you hear a whoosh a noise that's because below their coop there is this little contraption which I have a tutorial on in uh, I can put up um, it basically feeds all the eggs into here and this detects whether you have anything in here and it sends a signal to here to shoot it out then they live here until they grow up and because they're only currently half a slab tall or a slab tall half a block tall once they grow big they drown and here is there are uh, the remains now i just collected some because i did some trading but uh it's a pretty good system just s slowly and without any effort on my part um proves um, creates the meat i need to trade i also have over here a sugarcane farm uh, which can be very dangerous to visit in the night time but let's just do a quick run and yeah just now, it seems like it's a pretty solid patch of sugarcane, but there is a carefully spaced out water um, blocks with lily pads on them so I don't fall through. Come at me, spider. Oh, a lot more friends. Uh, creeper hiding behind you, I saw that. Yeah, let's get the creeper first. Uh, another creeper. And kill. Death to creepers. Where? With what went? A creeper almost exploded, but where is it? Oh, he's hiding in here. This is not good. Where are you, creeper? 
there was definitely a creeper sound, right? Alright, let's see if we can... What can we throw out? Throw out, throw out that, throw out that, throw out that, and that. Okay. We want these reeds. Oh, and I haven't filled these all in, but trust me, they, they do fill in. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Alrighty. Yeah. And I am all full up on sugarcane. Yeah, the sound as it collects. I love it. Wonderful. Let me just get a little bit more. Come on. Alright, that's enough. Give me some meat. Alright, so I have this sugarcane farm over sugarcane farm over here. I have my villager center, which uses that sugarcane farm. It also uses the uh, the uncooked chicken, the beef, the pork, and I need to get villagers that take the other things. Do do do. You're distracted. Done. And up. Oh wait, I wasn't running. I need to run. And run. Whoa. Let me get that. Nope. There we go. Great. So there you go. That's my update. That's what I've been doing lately. Uh, continue to show you what things I've been doing when I see you next.